Hi, I'm Helen. And I'm Paul. And together we run walkhighlands.co.uk, which is a new website offering lots of walking routes and other information about the Scottish Highlands. Yeah, we first came up with the idea of doing it when we got a year-long career boat from our jobs and we spent that time walking 4,000 miles across Europe, which really gave us a lot of time to think. And we came to the conclusion that we really wanted to spend more time doing the things we truly enjoyed. We've always come to the Scottish Highlands on holiday and we'd found it increasingly hard to find walking information. So we thought we could build a business putting that information on the web and bring other people to an area we love and to build a business around that was a fantastic opportunity. We give every walk a bug factor depending on how boggy the walk is. So I think this will be quite a boggy walk but luckily the view will be worth it. We're aiming to be the first website that people would think to look to when going walking in Scotland. Um, would also like to be the most popular place to advertise and to search for accommodation in the Highlands. Um, if we manage that we think we'll have a very sustainable business. Uh, in the future we'd like to uh, consider franchising the idea into other areas of the country. We want Walk Highlands to be the, the first place people would look when searching for walks on the internet in the area. Um, and now we're going to achieve this by providing the, the most detailed descriptions, the most accurate, the most up-to-date and the most choice of routes. Uh, and I think we're quite a long way along the road to achieving this already. We use GPS to record all our routes and we put the GPS files on the website so people can download them and then go and do the walk themselves with the added security of the GPS. However, it's really in the Coolins on Sky where GPS comes into its own because compasses don't work. Um, the magneticness of the rock affects the compass so it doesn't work in the Coolin. So someone having a map has the added security of a GPS route that they can follow relatively easily and they know they're in the right spot. OK, we're now writing the walk up that we did yesterday into the database. Uh, we've actually developed a spreadsheet system uh, which actually holds all the data about all of the walks and then we've written our own script that automatically transfers that onto the website and puts it all into the correct formats. Now while writing up the walks, obviously we've got all the photos that we took which we can refer to uh, for the detail on the walk and I've also connected the GPS to the computer so uh, you can have a look at the map in high resolution and exactly where we walked is marked in blue which is really useful for writing it up as well as uh, for actually putting on the site towards the end. We got noticed by ranking high in the search engines and the way that we achieved this was we thought about the types of businesses that were unlikely to take out paid advertisements with us such as hostels and campsites uh, and instead of offering them paid advertising we instead list their businesses um, if in return for a link from their own website and this has actually given us a huge surge in the Google rankings and given us lots of visitors. The main thing we've got from the Nesta course was the motivation to keep going and start building the business. I think the starting point, getting accepted on the Nesta course, was really important because we felt that someone was taking our idea seriously and suddenly we thought, oh, if other people think that it's a, a useful thing, then perhaps it is. Well, we've got to the top. What's this one called, Dempo? or something like that. Right. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> what we're planning to do on the website is put um, podcasts of the pronunciations of all the hill names on the site so that people can download them and hear how the mountains are really just pronounced because it's a real problem for people. You only need to get a load of Monroeists or hill walkers in a pub together and they're all talking about the same hill but describing it and pronouncing it completely differently. The best thing about being involved with Nesta really has been being surrounded by a group of people who are also trying to set up their own businesses and they're enthusiastic, they're not jaded from long-term careers and they believe in your idea as well and to be in that sort of atmosphere was incredibly motivating and really gave us a kick start.